this video, we are taking a look at my top three car twirls. I'll give you some tips and tricks so that you can learn these very easily. However, the detailed tutorials will be linked in the description of this video. Make sure to take a look at those as you're going through my list. At the very end, we'll be taking a look together at a few decks of playing cards that I received from you guys in the mail, and I'll share which ones are my favorites. Let's get started with number three. Number three is Flop by Daniel Lin, and it looks like this. Let me do that one more time. What helped me learn this twirl is actually the judo flip, because what I realized with the judo flip is that sense of clearing enough space to twirl something behind the deck. So that big packet needs to be pulled down to allow you for space. Same thing here, you're going to pull down. When you're ready here, the other thing that I can suggest is learn the aspect of gravity. You could start like this, okay? But you could also start like this, and that gives you a little bit of, um, here, I didn't complete the move altogether, but that gives you a little bit more flair. Not a great example, let's get it. There you go. Number two is Bullet by Andre Gich. Andre is incredible. And needless to say, you're probably already subscribed to him on YouTube. This is such a great move and will take you probably the longest to master. The actual way of doing it is pulling from the top, just like this. You could use a get ready, okay? So a get ready is pushing that card so that it is easier to separate it and then it goes right back down. In some weather conditions when your fingers do not feel anything, it's going to be difficult to pull that card and therefore a get ready could be a little bit more handy. If you're practicing this, do not worry about the fact that, that you are using a get ready to pull that card down. It is okay. Okay, and then you do have to practice that kind of finger movement slash wrist movement to make this nice. And at the end, you're going to pull that card back. Andre has some really cool variations and one of them is actually going to throw that card. Um, he has some nice card throwing technique, but I like the one that rotates things on the middle finger. So what you end up having is a really nice transfer of the card to the other hand, which then brings me to move number one, Flicker by Huron and the Verts. And it looks like this. Let's spend a bit more time talking about Flicker. Flicker will only utilize one card. And it is a very simple twirl. Super satisfying, super easy to do, but really it looks what it looks like because of that wrist motion. And all you're doing is grabbing the card, extending your fingers, putting your thumb, grabbing the card, extending your fingers. And that's what you're doing over and over again as you give a flick to your wrist. And this provides that smoothness and fluidity. And again, from here, you can go into um, to tossing the card. You could just, you could also go into the backdrop move by Kevin Ho. You can simply put the card like this on the deck. The combos you're able to do with the fact that you can incorporate now three cool twirls are endless. I hope you enjoyed that list and if you like these comment in the description below and I'll make more of my top moves in the different categories. Let's switch gears and look at playing cards. First deck I want to show you is Baba Playing Cards by Bao Bao Restaurant. Bao Magic here on YouTube, link in the description below. These are so cute and I love the fact that it has a protective plastic. Not only it's a protective plastic, but it also adds character to the cards because you can see that that little smiley 
is only super visible when you put the cards back. All right, so from here, really nice attention to detail. Nothing printed on the inside. Fairly basic here, but this is printed by the United States Playing Card Company. Really neat, and as you saw throughout this video, these contrasts really well and handle nicely. They feel like crushed stock. And let's see if I can get them to fan nicely so that you can see that border, thin border all around, really neat. This is another deck from Bao and he recently funded on Kickstarter the spicy version of these instant noodles. Again, love the play on the Bao Bao restaurant. Let's open these up. I actually haven't opened these yet because I wanted us to do this together. Let me get that really neat unboxing. Okay. Oh, there is something in here. <laughs> there is a packet to flavor the soup. It's actually a sticker. It's really clever. Oh, there's another one. There's another one. All right. What else do we get? We get the cards themselves that are plastic wrapped. What do we have here? United States Playing Card Company. Very neat. Okay, so we will be looking at these. It says uh, uh -uh, standard playing card. So it does not say crushed specifically, but let's see how they feel. Okay. And the unfortunate part is once you remove that packaging, unlike that plastic, it's pretty much something you're gonna recycle, but it was still a neat unboxing experience. Nonetheless, this is something I always struggle with. It's opening the actual cellophane. Oh, same little cute dumpling character. And you have nothing printed on the inside. By the way, the previous deck also had custom faces. So here we have indeed custom faces, instant noodles, really, really neat. Up next, Theory 11 has sent me these Grateful Dead playing cards. I ordered something from their website and I noticed there was something Part of my order, I've already opened one. It has a seal, it is embossed, it feels really nice. I mean, the embossing is great on this. All right, Grateful Dead Productions 2021 premium playing cards. Theory 11 says it's, it's very, you know, subtle premium playing cards, but I actually don't like to say premium playing cards. So there's another premium playing cards. You shouldn't have to say it's premium if it is premium, but here you go. It, it is premium because there has been printing on the inside. Very, very neat. Just look at that pattern. This is so cute. You have little koala planet peace sign. And the back design is one of the most colorful back designs that I've seen. It's very intricate. There's a little skeleton, you have the US hat. There's a lot going on. I love the, the thin border. It's really well printed thin border. I'm not seeing any discrepancy, although there usually is. I have opened these cards before, so they're not brand, brand new. Everything is custom. When it comes to the faces, this is a beautiful deck of cards. Speaking of calling out premium playing cards, false anchors do this quite a bit. I received this actually probably more than a year ago. But yeah, I, I think the call out is too much. Again, this is premium, it should feel premium. I don't need to read about it. But I think this is V2 of that and I haven't really looked at playing cards in a while. So that's why I still have it. Let's open these up and see if um, it does screen premium. We just looked at a premium deck, which was Theory 11's deck. 
and right away I don't feel any special printing or embossing so it is very difficult for me to say yes this is premium okay in terms of the box there's nothing premium if I open it up okay there's a few details but there's nothing printed on the inside um, therefore once again nothing premium on the box when I open things up I'm seeing a glimpse of the Joker but right off the bat the colors do not match so I don't know to me it's a little bit strange I mean this does match the text font the font <laughs> matches that same green but I, I feel a disconnect again that premium playing cards there there is no customization on the faces there is on the ace so these are most likely targeted for magic last but not least we have a prototype and it's a kickstarter that will go live on january 10th 2022 it's a deck of cards called hands of hope you can see the back design here is by my friend tom and some of his friends that came together for a good cause this is not the actual stock but it still fans really nicely and they really went first with the cause with the message behind this and this deck as they say here is meant to contribute to not only a worthy cause of fighting against domestic abuse but also portray hope and tranquility in her own way i, I won't read all of it but decide for the world there's some customization but most of it is towards the color scheme which is really uh, bright feminine I would say um, really pastel pastel like let me see if I can find the ace of spades here that I thought had a really really neat design there you go fragmental 2021 this has been in the works for a while. I hope you guys support this Kickstarter. All the links will be in the description below. That's it. Guys, new year, new video formats. Join the journey and subscribe. And I'll see you very soon.